high quality North American gameplay. We've got Oxalate here in studio and Aw Crap hanging out in his bedroom. There's Aw Crap being cocky, being confident here with these smiles. And of course, they're going to play really quick cycle cards here just to feel out their opponent and get a Elixir advantage by playing better defense. Yeah, this is your first time watching high-level competitive Clash Royale. The biggest thing you'll notice about new players, or these expert players compared to new players, is they don't want to reveal what their deck is right away. You're not going to see any of these players play Golem as their first card because they don't want to make themselves vulnerable by going low on Elixir, and they don't want to reveal their archetype until they absolutely have to. Yeah, exactly. You want to cycle real fast and be able to play more effective defense, and you can counterpoise. Beautiful drop there by Oxley, just predicting the Miner and just not letting that Miner even touch the tower. Right, and now the Bandit's going to counterattack. Miner comes down to tank for the tower while the Bandit's going to charge him, but no Mega Knight plops in front. Oh, wow, he's smiling. So does he have a P.E.K.K.A.? Does Oxley have a P.E.K.K.A.? If he has a P.E.K.K.A., that's going to be extremely hard count. And he does. He drops it right there against the Mega Knight. And you, we, this is something you should probably predict for Oxley. He played P.E.K.K.A. Ram more than anything last season. <laughs> it looks like he's taken his old archetype that he won the Spring Finals with, switched it up, a Bandit instead of a Battle Ram here, and a very similar deck being played. Yeah, let's see if crap has a potential Ice Golem. And the uh, Inferno Dragon comes down. Oh, the Electro Wizard is trying to reach, but it's just not reaching far enough. Yeah, that beautiful support of the Inferno Dragon. Take out that P.E.K.K.A. just immediately and not even having any type of uh, push capacity to the tower there. So beautiful play by All Crap. And All Crap is running his emotes right now. He's running his little, uh, his little finger mouths. <laughs> on, uh, I think that's a, a big mind game that you can get on your opponent. If you can put them on tilt, if you can make them kind of psych themselves out because you're throwing thumbs up and cry faces at them, that's a strategic advantage you got to take. Yeah, I wonder what All Crap's last card is. It's got to be a spell. It's potentially lightning here, fireball. He's kind of holding on to that card. You're right. I, it's, it's weird because I wouldn't expect something like a Rocket in that list. Just like looking at the remaining cards in there, I don't see a spot for something like Rocket. But it could be that's normally what the eighth card is if you don't see it played early on. Yeah, and there we go. The minions will take care of that bandit there. The Infernal Dragon will move up with the Miner coming as tower. And beautiful Ice Spirit there. It will not damage. It's a poison. Ooh, unbelievable defense, by the way, for Oxalate. He has barely taken any damage on his tower, with the weakest one being at 2200. Meanwhile, Ockrap's left tower is going to go down to 1500 or less here. Yeah, Oxide's doing such a good job of connecting the Miner to the tower. And that's why he's winning in these trades here and getting more tower damage against Ockrap. Ooh, and now you see, okay, Electro Wizard comes out to clean the Bats. The Log versus Zap decision has been really tough for a lot of players because Bats are so popular. If you run Log, you don't have a cheap spell to get rid of Bats. So we're seeing people play both Log and Electro Wizard to give them access to Log and Zap in the same deck. Yeah, All Crap is using the Infernal Dragon to defend against the Miner, but he needs a ground unit to tank that damage because Oxa is going to win just based on attrition. He's going to slowly get tower damage and win through this overtime match here. And Oxalate ignoring this most recent Miner, just using the Ice Spirit to mitigate the damage and instead trying to continue cycle spells on that tower. And look at that sound. Look at these Miners go back and forth, back and forth. But again, All Crap does not have a ground unit to tank the damage. And Oxalate is just slowly chipping, chipping away at that tower. He has the Goblins, but they're consistently out of cycle. He's trying to use them on offense, and they're getting logged away by Oxalate. You'll see another log come out there. That's happened probably three to four times this match. Yeah, now. and he's getting so much value. He's getting the goblins, and the log is hitting the tower for 96 damage. So it's slowly just, and there's minor poison coming out. So now Oxley has it. this advantage here because he is ahead on tower damage. He just needs to keep cycling, getting the minor poison combo onto All Crap's tower, and finish the game here. What can All Crap do? I don't think it's that solid yet, though. I mean, even though that uh, Oxide has a slight advantage, they're only about 200 damage apart in their towers. Simply oh. one good exchange can make this happen, but the bandit charges what a on! beautiful log! Taking out the goblins Ooh. so the miner is able to hit the tower with the poison there. Beautiful combo by Oxalate. And the defending champion, confident on stage in his performance, he flew out just uh, this morning, actually, here to California to play in studio, and I think he's down to Schlixer for the counterattack. So we'll see if we can watch that. I've actually learned so much from watching, watching Oxalate play these P.E.K.K.A. decks. This is my current ladder deck. Yeah, and look at Oxalate. He's just so calm, so composed. This guy knows he's got all crap's numbers here. And if you so let's see. Oh, the Ice Bone comes down. Just feeling each other's cards out again. Let's see what they play. Minions. Looks like a minor poison deck, potentially. Electro Wizard again. Similar decks, maybe. I, as far as I can tell, Oxalate's playing the same deck. I don't see any sort of massive change. And Oxalate's not afraid of playing the same deck, like Ooh, you mentioned. Ooh, a hog drops on the right side. And oh, Pekka comes the Pekka. out to counter. Beautiful counter there. And now Oxalate's got to worry about that Pekka coming out. Does he have an Inferno Tower? Probably with the Hog Cycle deck. Could I have believe. an Inferno Dragon. Inferno Dragon's definitely picked up in popularity. And look at his double, t double lane push here. Oh, oh, and a Pekka comes out. Pekka doesn't know where to go, though. Takes out the Bandit with one swing. And the bats will be dropped there, and he's going to basically get an even trade here. 
And I don't think the Pekka is going to make it over uh, to the Electro Wizard in time. And let's see if he's going to get a lot of tower damage today. And he is going to just take the damage, just one hit. Yeah. Now, to recall back the Spring Finals, Oxalate played this Pekka Ram Electro Wizard deck against C. McHugh, I think, four or five consecutive games in a row. He just kept winning with it and, and didn't change off of it. So I think Oxalate's the sort of player that you actually have to uh, you have to take him out, right? Like you have to beat the deck that he's running before he's going to switch. Yeah, let's see how Oxalate's going to use this Hog Ram. He's going to drop the Hogger with yep. the Ice Golem. And the Pekka should come out right here. The Hog is going to make it to this tower because the Ice Golem yes. is tanking two hits and it slows down the Pekka's attack speed. And boom, the Hogger gets Ooh, two. Oh, one, wow, one hit. That's got to hurt. Great defense there for Ah Crap because, of course, you, you stop six Elixir and you get to keep your seven Elixir defender. So, pretty oh, strong counter and the Miner comes up. But that Pekka is going to take care of the Miner and then hopefully this Pekka by All Crap here. And they're doing it back and forth. Bats drop down, and Oxlate's going to protect that tower. Oh, crap is a super mouthy player. I just can't get <laughs> over how much he's just running the emotes. He's loving it. I, if it works, it works. Yeah, and look at that. He got the zap on the minions and the tower there, taking that tower down to 1875. Again, Octite is just slowly chipping away at All Crap's tower. All Crap needs to get one successful push. Needs to basically force a mistake out of uh, Oxlate. And that's a really good play there. He's, that's so much valid from the poison on the Electro yes. Wizard. Both of these players are playing decks that don't really need to overcommit. Like, you can get away with just casting a Hog Rider and then following wow. up with a Lightning if they give you a good Lightning target for it. So it's it's weird because if you overcommit in this deck, like let's say you're like, oh, I'm going to go in, I'm going to make a big push. I'm going to put Ice Golem and Hog and Bandit and all that stuff down. All of that dies to a single P.E.K.K.A. So you don't really want to overload one lane. What you might see here is a little bit of split pushing as we're in double Elixir time. Yeah, I think Oxy will drop the Electro at a different spot now because he doesn't want the Minor Poison combo falling in. But the Poison is going to get Electro Bridge still. So beautiful play by Allcrab adjusting his spell play. Placement. Here, Oxlade just needs to get that hog. If he gets get one hit on the tower with that hog, it's worth. But now the lightning comes out and just takes care of the supporting units behind the P.E.K.K.A. there. I'm not sure that was a super efficient lightning. I mean, it's fine. Like, sometimes you got to do that on defense to stay alive. But I think that gives an opening uh, for Aw Crap to maybe turn around another defense. Yeah, he was able to get the Bandit and the Electro Wizard, though, behind the P.E.K.K.A., which was, uh, I think, worth it with that lightning there. No and now damage Crap, from that hog. Yeah, no damage. Beautiful defense there. Aw Crap is going to try to get more Miners and more Poisons on that tower. And looks like he might be able to just get this game out. We'll see. Look at Oxley starting to get a little flustered. He's like touching his hair, thinking like, what does he need to do now? He's definitely think putting on his thinking cap. All right, so here comes the Hog Rider across the river. Blocked again. The Hog Rider is just so hard to get through as an offensive option here when there are so many Hog counters. They're both trying to set up for this either a P.E.K.K.A. counter attack or just Lightning Cycle. Both towers are in triple digit range. You're only going to need three Lightnings to pull it out and you have two minutes of double extra time to do so. Yeah, you can see the power of this Minor Poison Control deck. It's just really really easy to like switch the position of the miner. All crap is switching positions of the miner, getting poison and miner chip damage onto that tower and just slowly beating Oxalate at tower health here. Yeah, even though the decks are different card-wise, they're very similar philosophically. Oh, one more hit to the lightning. Lightning takes it out. And whenever oh, he has the elixir, the nope, poison like is going to take that out. Oh, I'm sorry, he has lightning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I, lightning. <laughs> I was just going to say, their decks are very similar, but not identical like they're, they're similar in uh in philosophy but like one's running poison one's running lightning one runs ice spirit one runs ice golem these are similar cards they're like almost lateral choices but all of those choices totaled up in between ah crap and oxalate our first of 13 matches game three here tied one and one oxalate and red along the top ah crap and blue along the bottom still running his mouth yeah <laughs> And they are going to put the Ice Spirits down. So it looks like they could be running similar quick cycle decks here. But it looks like most likely a Miner deck potentially for Oxalate. And All Crap could maybe have a Hog or Miner as well. But It looks like they're playing the decks. same decks. I, yeah. I, I don't think they changed at all. Again, like these games are just coming down to who's playing better mechanically. Ooh. But I don't think any... Oh, oh we got a pump. That's a little the different. The pump comes out. Is, does Oxalate have a counter? Maybe Poison potentially? Or because there's no... That, and their Poison comes out with the Miner there. Let me call it. I got, I'm calling it right now. Ah crap loves golem decks. <laughs> this might be golem, buddy. This might be you big pop of golem decks. But deck. this is so tough, though. He has Elixir Collector against Minor Poison. So he, ha point. he has to basically try to get an Elixir lead somehow because yes. with one poison, basically neutralizes the Elixir Collector. Well, it's actually the poison. I think just the poison it actually plays in favor of the Elixir Collector player. But oh, if there's does, anything right. else, like if you're right, if you, if you can't defend the Miner, if the Miner gets on, it can be really, really bad. Um, and there we go. The miner comes down. Oh. Gets right on. Oh, and he oh. counters it. Beautiful drop Great there. Catch. Prediction. And it does not get an elixir. Card. So this is a really, really tough stop, tough spot for Oxlate right now. Because if he does not do any damage to this elixir collector, all crap is going to have an elixir lead. 
And don't fear, aw crap fans, he did not run scared. We just uh, lost the Skype connection. He is still playing. You can tell he's still playing because the emotes are coming Ooh. out all the time. <laughs> Another pump. He is cycling so fast. He's already cycling a second pump. And Oxlade is going to be forced to hit that pump and get some tower damage. Yeah, and the, having, once, the problem with playing against pump decks, oh, here's the three oh. musketeers, I guessed wrong. But once you get the uh, the elixir collector down, it becomes a problem because if they get two of them or three of them out and start snowballing, you're in big trouble. So let's see if he can stop it here. He's got Bandit on the left. This is tough because there's so much elixir being pushed on both sides. So what is, oh crap, going to, or Oxy going to be able to do to counter this? And beautiful play by all crap there. The miner is up oh, and no. the, oh my god, the bat, the miner, the musketeer takes that tower down to 958. That is triple digits already, but the peck is bearing down on that right side. Towers are gonna get, get a swing! Oh, oh mid-swing, it gets it gets killed by the, the sword musketeer. Sword was cocked, but just didn't get the didn't get to land it. Great poison there on the towers, take out the two musketeers on the left side. Doesn't even get any damage. Yeah, and he drops the bandit. It's gonna hit on a musketeer. Oh, wow, look bandit. at it! Did the other bandit miss! <laughs> the was stutter that, step bandit. Was that intentional timing? That was very well played by Oxlade there. Wow. But you can tell once now the pump, now here's a chance for Oxlade to turn around. There's no pumps on the field. So Aw Crap exactly. had an elixir advantage and used that elixir advantage to try to get out a couple three musketeers. He didn't stick to the pump game, and now they're basically back to even footing. Wow, he drops the ice spirit just in time, so it doesn't connect to the tower, and then the ice pump comes out right behind it, so that bandit is not even able to connect to the tower. Let's see how Ox is gonna respond to this double split push here again. The miner comes in, and really, it's always the miner lane's been the problem. The double musketeer lane has been held oh off. Oh my but goodness! But these miners are like, oh, the Mr. same combo it. again, and they're gonna secure the tower. Wow, that miner, that bat, that musketeer combo. Wow. Game three victory goes to Akrap. He's gonna take a, I mean, a pretty, yeah, impactful win. I mean, to, to defeat.